Hi, my name is Kathleen Lindell. I'm a clinical nurse specialist in the Simmons Center for Interstitial Lung Disease and a research assistant professor in the pulmonary division at UPMC. And today I'm going to speak about making the case for early referral for palliative care for patients with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, also called IPF, is a serious life-limiting disease, and the prognosis is poor. Most who acquire IPF are relatively young between the ages of 50 and 70 and previously healthy. It's defined as unknown lung scarring. While the cause remains unknown, there are promising therapies on the horizon today, but the only treatment is a lung transplant. The disease course varies, and it's difficult to predict how the disease will advance for each patient. We have found that the median survival of patients is 2.9 years from diagnosis to death. And while some patients may succumb to the disease within six months, there are many that live several years. There are some uh, common problems that patients uh, and their caregivers experience. One of the first is late referral to a specialty center where they can have access to disease confirmation, um, referral for participation in clinical trials that help define the cause and the cure, and advanced education and support. Another common problem is that patients and their caregivers often fail to perceive the poor prognosis and experience high levels of anxiety and depression as the disease relentlessly progresses. Another common problem is that patients often die in a hospital setting without referral for formal palliative care to aid in addressing advanced care planning. Patients with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis will experience great symptom burden, including progressive shortness of breath, cough, fatigue, anxiety, and depression. It's important to make the patient aware of these symptoms and help them prepare for the disease course. Palliative care or supportive care should be offered to any patient diagnosed with a serious life-limiting illness, and it can be offered alongside curative care. Palliative care is not hospice. In patients with lung cancer, it's been found to improve their quality of life, reduce symptom burden, and improve their survival in comparison to usual care. Palliative care addresses symptom management and advanced care planning, which includes addressing end-of-life preparation. End-of-life issues should be addressed at the time the diagnosis of IPF is confirmed. Because the disease course is variable, it's essential to help patients and their caregivers understand that this disease is serious and that they can best prepare for the road ahead by knowing what options are available. This includes optimizing their treatment regime, including pulmonary rehabilitation and supplemental oxygen, early referral for lung transplant evaluation, the option to participate in research studies to help find the cause and additional therapies, early referral for palliative care, and preparing their advanced care planning. The mantra, preparing for the worst while hoping for the best, is a way to introduce advanced care planning for patients with IPF. Music